Jack and Gunsmith Simulator. Um, I, I'm supposed to buy my own gun. <laughs> Do you have access to auctions? If not, check at the PC on Bid Auctions tab. There should be some auctions with decent weapons for you. You can buy specific weapons and test them in the workshop or shooting range. You can drive there without any orders, just with your private guns. Remember that your orders are actually more important than just simple fun with one weapon. You need to eat something or buy more weapons, right? Okay, well, what do you got? Oh, jeez. So, bidding auctions. Okay, woo, a well-worn peacemaker. Well, who doesn't like a, oh, damaged or well-worn? I don't know, this one's cheaper. I'm, I might, I might, I might get this. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I might get this. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise the bid by five. Oh, jeez, raise it by five again. I, I just, I would like to have this, please. Oh, four twenty, baby. Yes. Uh, oh no. Oh. Can I, can I get it, please? My goodness, this is a terrible. Okay, is this me? You raised by five. I think this is me. Going once, going twice. Sold. Okay, excellent. Nice. Okay, so I know I could have got any of these fun, fun weapon things, but now we have our own weapon thing. Oh, no, look at this. Ooh. Mm, we don't really have the money right now to work on it, maybe. Let's do a thing first, and then we'll work on our own gun. So let's see. Uh, gunsmith services. Let's see. A Glock that doesn't load. Uh, Glocks are terrible anyway. I don't need a breech bite right now. Okay, let me see. 150. Let's, uh... Is it... Ah, let's do it anyway. It's on the list. All right, let's, let's go. Um... Can I escape out of this? All right, nice. Okay, let's see. This is the Peacemaker. This is the Glock. Would you like? Sure, let's work on it. Let's take her out and see what happens. Okay, now I gotta remember how to play this game. Oh yeah, I'd say the magazine and and the it looks yeah it looks pretty pretty haggard here, bud. Okay, let me see here. All right, let's uh take the mag out and we'll do we'll take apart the magazine. Oh no, look at this. Look how rusted this thing is. Why would you even try to put this in, in a weapon, man? This is a good way to get hurt. Not that I know what I'm talking about. I'm just thinking, like, if, you're, if your magazine's not feeding properly, you probably shouldn't use it in, in a firearm. I'm just saying. So let's see. How do we... Okay, we can pan with this. This is nice. Oh, yeah, we can pick it up, right? If we want to. I'm going to just remove everything I can. Here we go. Oh, let's just pick it up here, and then we will take all the bits and bobs off here. We're going to remove this uh, barrel here. There we go. And then we're going to remove the firing pin. And, oh, oh, we didn't get it all. There we go. Got that out. What was that? Extractor. Okay. Like I said, I'm not totally versed on guns. I got a pretty good idea how guns work, like on a basic thing. So let's see. You need to just sell a gun parts extractor. Okay. Okay, we already got that out, though. Oh, well, what's this? Here we go. What's this? Oh, this is the extractor here. Okay, got it. All right, all right. Firing pin safety, the front sight. There we go. That's easy enough to pop off. We're going to take this little screw out. All right, and then we're going to take out this uh, firing pin safety thing. There we go. Okay. So, we got missing parts, we got dirty parts, we got broken parts. So, we actually, it's not that bad. It's just the magazine, the follower. Why is it two? Oh, it's the bottom part of the magazine, the insert. Okay, so, no problem. And then we're missing a spring and the slide's dirty. All right, no problem. So, let's uh, back out of here. Oopsie, back. How do you back out again? Leave for now. All right, so we're going to go to the cleaning table because we got one bit we got to clean. And, oh, yeah, there we go. We'll confirm that, and this should be easy enough. All right. Ooh, ooh fancy. All right, so how do we how do we rotate this around? Oh, here we go. 
Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Looks good. All right. So now we have missing and broken parts. So we're going to have to go to the computer and buy. Uh, is it stock and barrel parts? Here we go. And then we need to find it for uh, Glock. Was it a 17 I'm working on? Yeah, 17. All right. So we need a magazine. There we go. We need a follower. We also need this, right? Yeah. And we need the mag spring. There we go. And then we need the follower. Now, wasn't it? It was missing. It was missing a spring, right? Okay. Let's look up. Uh, uh, follow. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Follower. Excellent. So that should be everything. And that's going to cost us 60 bucks. Okay. Let's uh, back to the shop. And, uh, we need to oil. Don't we need to oil these bits up a little bit? So we want to replace that. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I didn't, uh, I didn't pick them up off the on the shelf here. Where was it? Here it is. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, let's see. We'll put that there. Yep. And then this here. Yeah. And then this little bit there. Okay. And that should be, uh, everything's got to be oiled up. All right. Sweet. Okay. Maintenance is complete. Now we just got to reassemble everything. All right. Let's uh, insert this. Put the spring back in. It's amazing how really simple these things are at the end of the day. Like there's nothing super fancy about a, a gun. All right. Let me see here now. Let's uh, put this back in. There we go. And then we're going to put the firing pin back in. Oh, excellent. And then... Let's put the extractor back in, and then we'll put the front sight on. We got to put the little screw in it. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to put the, what is this? The extractor depressor plunger back in. Excellent. And then the rear sight and uh, cover plate. All right. And then I think we should be able to put that down and then put the barrel back in. Excellent. And the recoil spring back in. Perfect. And then we we're going to put this back on there. All right. And then we just got to put the magazine in it. And it goes. All right. Finish work. Now, I don't think we need to test a Do we need to test a Glock? Everybody likes to see them. So we're going to go go to the range and test the Glock. All right. There we go. Uh, we'll go to, let's go to CQB, because that's, that's good for uh, a pistol, I think. Besides, how, how else are we going to have fun in this game? All right, here we go, here we go. Safety is off. Why would safety be off? And I don't think it's, it's not even letting me... what's what's the safety yeah i know how to do this um i can't remember the safety button is does this not have a safety it should have a safety all right let me see nope we don't want to customize it we just want to get down to uh, uh static targets okay there's always targets the same place all right let's uh g to start game All right, go, go, go. Well, this is the wrong way. Crap. I don't know how I missed that shot, but sure. Or I even hit that one. That's great. Well, he, he's not the quickest reloader in the world, is he? Okay, come on, buddy. Exit. Uh. 
Okay, well, we only hit 23 of 24 targets. No civilians. Final result, 26 seconds. Not bad. I can live with that. All right. And we can go bam, 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 but we're not going to. All right, so how do we... I can't see to cycle the selector on this, which is a little bit disconcerting. But uh, let's go back to the workshop. We'll pack this one up and send her on her way. Nice. This is how I like to do it. Quick, easy, get her done. So we can work on our old Colt Peacemaker because I want to be a cowboy, baby. All right, let's see here. Let's take this out of here. Love this old... Uh, love this old Wagoneer. Was that... <laughs> Is that what that is? Is a wagon air? Okay, here we go. You go in there, and then I'll close you up. Very nice little Glock. Very simple, very cheap. We got a hundred bucks, baby. And we're now proficient with it. Boom. All right, so. It looks like we may have... Oh, we have available skill points. Nice. Okay, so. Screwmaster. This is my nickname in high school. Um... Faster cleaning. What is this? Discount when buying attachments and patterns to weapons. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going with the screws because like none of the other ones really seem to help because like cleaning just goes really fast anyway. All right, let's see. Send back that weapon. All right, let's see. Now we got a Winchester that needs help. Oh, what is this? A Makarov. Man, last time I saw a Makarov was Daisy, I think. So nothing super, uh, super duper here, but we got this Winchester. Needs some polishing. All right, let's, uh, optional take, take the field, test it. All right, no problem. We got it. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Needs some polishing. This is a very nice gun case. All right, let me see. Ooh, look at this. Double barrel. Nice. Okay, yeah, it's it looking lovely. Um, I, I do, I do like me a good double barrel. <laughs> let's, let's, shotguns are my favorite in video games when I'm playing with weapons. I don't know why. My father used to have a gun similar to this. Ugh. Although I honestly, I'm too young to remember the, uh, the brand of it. There we go. I'm going to take out this, uh, extractor plunger. Oh, it looks like we may need a new one of those. Oh, geez. What happened here? Well, you know what? We'll just go for it anyway. Take off that guard there, and then we'll take out this receiver. Okay, take out the back of that. There we go. Jeez, there's a lot more in this than I thought. Left sear spring. Right sear spring. The catch. Take off the stock, I guess. Uh, take out the receiver. Left sear. And we'll take out the right hammer and the left hammer. Are they on the single? Oh, they're on a single thing. Cool. And the lever. Here we go. That's what releases the barrel, if I remember correctly. I don't know what this is. What's this? Oh, there's another part of the receiver to come out. All right. What's that? Right cocking rod? Another one of my nicknames in high school. Whoops, not what I wanted. Let's pick you up. Okay, so how do we rotate around again? Okay, here we go. Looks like we got some broken bits and bobs right here. There we go. Take that out. And that off. Boy, there's way more bits in here than I thought there was going to be. I think that's everything off of this receiver here. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Oh, that comes. All right, let me see. Oh, wait a minute. What do we got here? <gasps> Top level plunger. I don't know what that means, but we're taking that off. Okay, I think just by doing a cursory scrubbing, I think we're good there. Now we just got to, oh, what was that? The ejector, okay. Oh, that must be what pops it out when you, uh... Oh, what do we got here? Oh, I'm not sure what that was. What was that? 
Oops, I put it down again. We still got to get the other side out here. So I keep messing up. My, I was just playing a different game a minute ago, and now everything is just a little bit off for me. You think this would be a little easier to get apart? There isn't a whole lot here. And I can see. All right, let's um, pick up this instead, and we'll start working on this. All right, hold this to remove that. Excellent work there, boys. All right, let's see here. We'll take this off. What is that? Forearm. We're working on a forearm here. My forearms look completely different to this. All right, so we need to get out the right ejector hammer. The safety, like all that stuff's got to be. All that's got to be here, right? Or here? Oh, here we go. Take out the pins on this. Like someone really did the research here, I feel. <laughs> like... Okay, that came off no problem, but we need to get both the triggers out. And how does one get the triggers off of this? I'm assuming it's this little bit and bob here. Or maybe not. Maybe they don't come off. All right, hang on. I feel like I've missed something here. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's right here. And that comes out with this big rod. It probably gets both out of those. And then there we go. Take this rod out. And we will take this off. Nice. Okay, and then the left ejector hammer is coming out. All right, so everything's down. It's disassembled. All right, so these are the broken bits. These are the missing bits, and these are the dirty bits. A lot of good parts, so we should be okay. There's a lot more complication on this than I thought there was going to be. So let's clean up what we can. Okay, confirm that. And we're going to grab our lubes. And we're just going to start cleaning Excellent. There we are. We're going to now do a, a right cock rod. Again, my name in high school. Left ejector. There we go. Nice and clean. Screw. Oh, we got to do the whole screw too? Jeez. Well, I guess if you're going to clean one thing, you might as well clean them all, right? I would just probably be more inclined to uh, replace screws than bother cleaning them up but i guess if you're trying to keep it all original then yes there we are and the safety lever sweet cleaning's been finished now we got to go get parts right yeah we gotta get parts 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 oh, parts machine there it is all right so we got to go to uh parts so and your gun name, Win Chester 21. Nice. Okay, so. Left cocking lever. Add it. Right cocking lever. Got it. Joint pin. Let's see. I don't see any. Um, oh, joint pin, right? There we go. Locking bolt catch. Barrel block. The left ejection sear. I don't see that here. I see the left ejector. It's not a forearm catch plate that it needs, is it? Now, is this what I'm looking for? Let's just look it up. Left. Oops. Uh, left. Uh, 
that wasn't it. Let's get that out of there. Left ejector sear. Oh, left ejector sear right here. Okay. Forearm catch. And then a butt plate stuck. Excellent. Okay, that's all that. How much is this going to cost me? Two fifty. Okay, here we go. And we're going to go back, and now we're going to lube these up, and then get right back to it. All right, let's see. Okay, so now we want to. Well, first we got to put them on the table, I guess. Oh yeah, we got to every time I forget now. I got to go pick them up out of the. Here they are parts and now we come back and we replace all the crappy parts with these good parts to make sure we have all the parts okay where else have we got parts here ah and here okay it's open right here the barrel block Okay, this is good. All right, so now we're going to oil. There we go. Boy, there's a lot more wrong with this gun than that dude thought, eh? <laughs> He's like, oh, it just needs to be clean. No, this is this is far more necessary than cleaning. All right, let's reassemble. There we go. Sweet, that was easy. All right, let's uh, let's do all the little bits and bobs here. There we go. Put that on there, and then this whole business can go like that into there. I'll put the pin back in. I like it when you got one piece like in the air like this. Okay, I'll put that down. That can go there, and then the pin can go in there like that. And then this whole bit can go in here. Okay, we'll screw down. All right, and then this should go in that right there. What is that again? Forearm shoe. Oh, no, this is the right ejector. So these are what pop the shells out when they're spent, right? Isn't that how it works? Might as well stick these bits and bobs in here while we're waiting. Okay. Put you down for a second. Okay, let me see. You can go back in there. Why does it always do this to me? Stop that. All right, the pin can go in there. Okay, excellent. And then... Ooh. Oh, I'm not even sure what that was. Okay, so now this is the locking bolt catch. The safety slide. So if I just pick this up, this is probably smarter. We pick this up. And we just do all the little bits for it. Oh, that was the wrong bit. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Here we go. Where does this go? This is the locking bolt catch. And that can go in there. All right. So this is the top lever. This is what, like I said, what opens it, if I remember correctly. At least that's what it look, looks like on my... Father's old double barrel. Okay. There we go. We're going to put these caulking rods in. And the receiver. What is this? Right. Caulking lever. Big long screw goes all the way through. And then we'll put these uh, hammers in. Big long rod all the way through. Simple, simple design. I like that. Let's put you down for a second. All right, now we got to get. This is this where the sears come into play. Oh yeah, let's. There we go. Little rods go through. Like I said, I just love how simple shotguns are. There's just nothing to them. They're just you know, super basic, easy to work on. And I'm gaining a really good understanding about all this. Okay, let me see. 
I might as well stick this on because that's easy enough. <laughs> Here you go. Excellent. Now, uh, push that on there. And then we can put the trigger plate in. And then the guard for it. What do they call this? Trigger guard, I guess. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh, it's keyed. That's nice. Okay. Then we'll put the barrel on. Snap. And uh, the handy holdy thing. Okay, finish my work. Nice. Well, we definitely got to go check this one out. Too bad there isn't skeet shooting. Okay. Oh, maybe there is. All right. Let's go. Um, oh, shooting range workshop. Yeah, let's go to shooting range. I don't think you want to use that double barrel for a uh, for a close quarters thing. It seems like a, a long reload time. All right. Yeah, the Glock didn't have a safety. That's weird. Oh, here we go. Look, skeet. Is this skeet? Skeet game. All right. Trap shooting competitors shoot at this flying away from you from one of the skeet shooting by the competition rules. I don't know the competition rules. In this mode, we will sh shoot from one position, go to the highlight position, eight, and follow instructions. Okay. Okay. G throw discs after 20 thrown discs, the game mode will end. Okay. Pull. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, missed that one. Oh, that's the wrong button. I just want to reload. Thanks. Whoa. Pull. Did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it. Okay. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Excellent. I don't know why I'm hitting the Oh, no, I am hitting the wrong button because I'm hitting G to to launch these things. And it's making me reach above it and hitting T. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so I'm not great, but I'm not the worst. Oh, that was real bad, that one. Okay, well. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Pull. I like the way they just blow out of the gun. There we go. Well, I got it, but it took two shots. Pull. Did I get that one? I, I don't know. I couldn't tell. I definitely missed the first shot. 11 of 20. Fair shooting, but could still improve. Oh, well, you know what? So we're not great. All right, so should, we, should we Okay, go home? Go home. Or should, what, are, what are the competition rules? Like, what does that mean? Oh, I can't even do it. All right, let's try it again. I, I feel like... I feel like I can do better now that I know what I'm doing, kind of, maybe. Okay, let's see here. Nope, missed that one. I don't know. For a first time out, I don't think hitting half of them is that bad. Okay, now we're just missing all the shots. I don't think I've hit one yet. Jeez, what am I doing wrong this time? <laughs> Okay, got that one. May have got that one? Don't really know. I 
I can't tell if that's the disc exploding or just the powder from a gun going off. No, it's definitely the disc exploding. No, missed that one too. Yeah, we're doing worse this time. But that's all right. Like I said, being we're just our first time out with a shotgun. We don't expect perfection here. Excellent. What a kind of shot I'm using. Bird, probably? Pony up. All right, I seem to get better as I go along. <laughs> but the first few were terrible. I think I got it. 13. Fair shooting. Well, you know what? Fair is not bad. All right, I can live with fair. Let's reload it. Safety on, please. There we go. We don't hurt anybody. There we go. And uh, back to the workshop, please. I think that turned out pretty good. You can't argue with something that you fix, you know? Like, it's, when you fix something yourself, that's just a good time. All right, let's see. I like fixing this. First frame rate. Okay, here we go. Looks like we gained another thing. Let's take this out. And we'll send it off. There you go, bud. I like the fact that it's packed broken down. That's good. Nice. We're now Winchester proficient. And then we'll take it. Uh, we'll send it back. So it makes us our hundred bucks. Now, we looks like we got another skill point, possibly. I'm not sure what masteries do. But let's see here. I feel like getting a discount might be worth it. All right. Leave this here. Back this up. I think we'll do... Uh, I think we're going to work on our gun here. Let's see. Yeah, I want to work on my Peacemaker, man. Oh, yeah. Look at this classy thing. It's terrible in every way. Okay, so take it out. Let's take her over here. Let's uh, repair it. All right, let's... Uh, Oh, we got to pick it up. All right, fair enough. I can take the screw out here. I wonder how bad this is, really. What is this? The base pin. We're taking that out. Nice. We're going to remove the handle. The back strap can come off. I've never seen a disassembled one. I've seen them with like, the uh, cylinder out, but I've never seen them disassembled before. There we are. That can come off. And the trigger guard can be removed. Lots of screws there. Probably keep from moving around, I'd assume. Take the receiver out. I take the barrel off. All right, now we're going to take the bolt spring out. And the loading gate. And the trigger. And the... What's this? The receiver? This is not, not the receiver. What is that? The hammer out. All right. Okay, that can go back down now. Ooh, wait a minute. I bet you we got to work on this cylinder. Ah, here we go. We got to take out the ejector spring. Once we pick everything up, the ejector spring can come out. I don't think there's any more bits and bobs left in there. Yeah, we're going to take that off. Really, it's known as an ejector head. And then I think the spring just comes off after it. All right. Okay. So we got some dirty parts and some parts that um, need cleaning. Oh, here we go. Let's uh, let's clean up what we can. Grab our little rag here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I wonder if they make any uh, 
specialty bits and bobs for these old guns. Like, <laughs> could, I put a, could I put a scope on it or something stupid like that? Ooh, how do you clean a spring? This is... There we go. Cleaning's finished. Nice. Now we got to go buy all the the broken bits and bobs, which I think is like... Oh, wait. I always walk the... I don't know why, but I always walk the wrong way after I'm out of there. All right. Let's see. Uh, stock and barrel. We're looking for a Colt. Oops. Colt Peacemaker. All right. So we need... That's the only thing I need? Cylinder. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess this is literally the main part of the gun. <laughs> Where's a loading gate? Hmm, loading gate. All right. Let's, um... Can I buy this now? Oh, here we go. Okay, so that used up a lot of our money, but I think we should be able to. Oh, yep. Forgot. Got to pick up my parts. Every time. All right, so these are the only parts that need a replacing. That's not that bad, really. Okay, now let's, uh, let's butter them up a little bit. Like, I doubt there's any add-ons for this. Okay, that's, um, yeah, it looks like, uh, that's all we can do. So, let's, uh, reassemble. There we go. That can go in. We screw that down. Cylinder doesn't want to go in. We're going to put the barrel back on it, though. Nice. Put that on there, and then the spring can go back on there. And then this whole business can go in there. And that whole business can go on there. And that can be screwed down. All right. Excellent. So then... We want to put the hammer and all that crap back in. Oh, geez, that was kind of cool. What the heck was that? Why did it fold like that? Is that how the spring works? What is that? Uh, okay, yeah, that goes in there. This is not very good looking. And may need... I wonder if we can, like, cosmetic this. Although, as long as it works, I guess that's all that really matters. We already did the apply the thin coat of oil. Okay. Did we like miss a step here? Like, did I forget to apply oil to that or something? Or is it just old and terrible? There we are. And there we are. Wow, look at this. Looks like we have a painting tip. You can customize paints before applying them. Let's see what's available. Look for tools from this toolbox. Toolbar, sorry. Here you can already created paints. Oh, that's awful. Okay. All right. Wow. Oh no. This is this is horrible. You can create a weathering effect too. Neat. That is so bad. Can I just have like a, a, oh, wait a minute. A silvery color? Is that a? That is so yellow. What? Why would you do that? 
okay, that's kind of silvery. And if we make it super metallic and super glossy, oh no. There we go. That that looks a little better in my opinion, but I, I you know, opinions from the audience, I guess. Now, stickers, weathering, remove paint, remove stickers. Is there like a a wood? Because the wood could probably use a little bit of... Yeah, like, I'll just finish it like this. Oops, finish work. Now that it's painted, what's this? This gun doesn't have a mounting element. Yeah, I figured. You need to learn lathe working to work on lathe. Okay. What does this do? You need to learn milling to work on the CNC machine. Well, I see. Okay, should we take it to the range? I think I like the, the beat up handle for now because there isn't a wood thing to finish off the, the wood with. So, shooting, yeah, let's go to the shooting range. Like, why not, right? I like myself a nice, nice Colt Peacemaker. What caliber this is? No safety. Great. All right, let's see. Click to open a target game. One mag challenge. Load up to 10 rounds and fire at appearing targets. If you reload, the round is over. Let's go for it. All right. G to start game. There we go. Double action. And we're going to reload. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is like old school, man. You can push that little plunger to knock out the round. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting it all. Look at that. We got them all in the black, though. That's not terrible. I, I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, miss that one. So that was the longest it took. But every time I got 56 points, this one's just off. Look at that. I'm very consistent. <laughs> well, might as well reload it up. I like even the cartridges. You can see where the, the, the primer was hit with the, the pin. All right, let's see. And we're going to go back to the workshop. I like it. I, I think it's... I think it's very... It's a very nice firearm... Or is this a single action? What is it? Single? What's the difference between single action and double action? Uh oh. Oh nope, it worked. Okay, I thought the game froze. So oh yeah, we gotta get the gun out of the trunk. All right, excellent. I'm gonna take this out. I could just leave it in there, you know. We're gonna store it in there. Nice. Okay, I think we should check our emails one more time here. I did this. What is this? I got another weapon as promised. You need to work with the sandblasting cabinet. The bluing station. So remember to always put glow. Okay. Oh, it taken on his AK. AKM. Let's let's okay, yeah. Let's um let's do that. Work on grandpa's AK, yeah, why not? Okay. Um Are we disassembling here? Oh, it looks like it's got some parts that need work on it for sure. There we are. Pull that out. Pull off this. Stock here. Mag can come out, which we should have probably taken out first before we started disassembling the other parts of the firearm. Take the big ass spring out. 
the pusher out. All right, that should... Oh, wait a minute. That can come off there, and... Where's that little bit? Now we'll get it in a second. Take out the bolt carrier. Piston. Oh, I can pick it up. Okay, there we go. Take it off. Take off that piston there. Take out the bolt. Now these are supposed to be ridiculously easy to disassemble. And to maintain. So let's go with that. Cleaning rod can come off. There we go. That can come out there. Sight lock can come out. All right. Take off this. Front sight can come out. And Kalashnikov really had this all figured out when he did this. Oh, I got to pick it up, don't I? Yeah, okay, fine. Whoa! Maybe I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> I'll just do what I want, thank you. Magazine catch. Trigger. Fire selector. Not sure what that was. The back sight body. But that is aggressive, eh? Sight clamp, whatever that means. Oh, take the handle off. Take this handle part off, as it's called. Oh, here we go. Remove the barrel. Sweet. And that can go back down. All right. So then we'll take that off. This cover. And this off. And the top barrel cover host, apparently. And the back four. And... Oh, the back sight roller. Oh, God, I've got to pick the whole thing up. The sight's more complex than the friggin' gun. You put that down, dumbass. All right, let me see. Pick it up. Take it apart. There we are. Yeah, it's literally more complex, the sights, than the actual firearm itself. That's hilarious. All right, let's take this apart here. All right. Rods are out. Take this hook. I guess we're taking that off now. Okay, put that down, dumbass. All right, let's see. Take this off. Disconnector. Okay, put that down. Thank you. Take the butt off this thing. All right. Recoil absorber. Oh, there's a recoil absorber in these? Well, neat. That pin can come out of there. Oh, now I got to pick it up again. That's more the problem with this thing I've noticed is you got to pick up everything to do it. And where's the extractor? Excellent. Okay, we'll take that out. Ugh, pick it up. And the extractor can come out. Boom. All right, disassembly's complete. We just got some rusted parts. Not so bad. I think we can just clean those up. Oh, and then we cleaned up with some sandblasting. Okay. So where does... Uh, oh, here we go. You need to sandblast the machine to remove rust. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. We got to do all of them, right? Okay. I wonder if that's what's wrong with my um, power light dust collector on. Sweet. 
sweet. Can we zoom in a little bit? <laughs> okay. Am I missing something here? Oh, got it. Nice. New skill, metalworking. Blast surface with beads, ruse, rust, dirt, and grime. Okay. Some parts are bare. Use bluing tanks to oxidize. Now, I've heard of this, but I've never seen this done. Sure. Oh, we gotta go get it now? Oh, my goodness. We had to get a gas tank delivered. Uh, what does this do? Does this heat the liquid? Is it like an oil or something you got to heat or something like that? Like, I've seen chroming done. There we go. Oh. Put on gloves. Mask, smock. Perfect. Let's do it. Okay, how do I do this? Some parts are bare using bluing tanks oxygen. Clean parts in a caustic soap, rinse parts in cold water. Oh, okay. In the caustic soap they go. Cold water rinse. Hot bluing salts, I'm assuming. All right, back to the cold water. And then hot water. Okay. Take out blue parts. Got it. All right. Sweet. Did it turn off on its own? Oh, okay. Excellent. Maintenance parts need to be treated with oil to work properly. All right, so we didn't actually have to replace any parts. We just cleaned the rust off. The this might actually work to our advantage. Oh no, get out, get, stop that. Stop it, stop it. I need my bluing rag. Or not my bluing rag, my oiling rag, thank you. So you can like recover parts instead of necessarily having to buy new ones unless they're broken, which could come in quite handy. All right, now we're reassembling. So we'll put that on there and we'll tighten that up. All right. Put that in there. Into the bolt carrier. And then this extractor can go on here as well. And tighten that down. This whole business can go back in here. All right. Into the bolt carrier. Nice. So then we can put the hook on there. And then we can put the disconnector on that. Tighten that down. And then this can all go into this trigger bit all right okay so, so far insert that and we're going to put the back sight lock in this whole thing is just ridiculously complex what do you like why do you like this russia okay let me see put that on there i'm going to put this uh barrel back on and then we're going to put the back sight body on Excellent. Now, somebody knows more about this than I do. Probably has a good idea why this is so freaking complicated. And there's probably a very good reason why it's so complicated, the sights. But it just seems, like, needlessly complicated. Put this cover back on. Nice. All right. And we're going to put... Oh, okay. Put that down. And the cover part can go on there. All right. And then this guard can go on. Sweet. And what was that thing called? Well, we don't know now. Actually, I can look at it. The gas tube part, apparently. Front sight. And 
the front sight part. Whatever that is. There we go. Oh, that's just a little doohickey to look at. All right, cool. Uh, the barrel on top part of the receiver on, or the, uh, what is that thing? Top cover. Cleaning rod. I like how the cleaning rod's pre-bent, so you don't have to worry about ruining it. Right, put that down. It's starting to look like an AK again. All right, so we're going to put the spring back, or we're going to put this back in the spring, maybe, or put the spring back on that. Sweet. Put that down. Put the stock on it. So does this recoil compensator actually work on these, or is this just like a, a funny thing to make you feel better about it? <laughs> because it just seems like it's not going to do much. There we go. Screw that down. And that's for your strap. We're going to stick this in the fire selector. We probably could not mount it right away. Put that in there. And then this whole handle can go back on. And this giant ass screw. All right. Now that should go back in. No problems. Trigger can go back in. Put the pin in. Okay. Excellent work. And then the hammer. And the hammer lever. And then the bolt carrier. And the coil spring. There they go. This is what does this do? This is the inner re oh, it's a recoil spring. Nice. There we are. All right. I think we're just about other than putting the magazine back together. There we are. Ooh, where'd that little spring? Oh, this one in here. Whoops. Oh, that's the uh is that the magazine lock? Yeah, okay. Magazine catch. That big spring looks like it could be prone to failure. I, I, I'm just saying, the bigger a spring gets, the more likely it is to fail, especially when it's not a high-tension string. Spring, sorry. Well, we can't really paint gun. Take it and make your gun beautiful. Okay. Oh, God. What are, what are we going to do with it? What, what color do we paint it? This is not my gun, so I, I don't entirely know. Oh, no. I've made a boo-boo. Oh, goodness sakes. What am I What am I doing? There. Let's just make it nice and... I don't want to make anybody angry when I accidentally paint a gun the wrong color. And now it's just kind of gray. But the fact you can't... put a wood to am i missing a wood tone here like i see like all these camo bits oh let's make it look weathered all right yeah because that's that's what it should be right down to the bare metal but you think they'd have something for the wood Ooh, leopard print. That looks like a cow. I love it. All right, here we go. It's the cow marader. Yes, I'm finished painting. Look how beautiful that is. Moo. Okay. Stick her out to the range. Oh, I got to test it first. Here we go. Remove the magazine, load bullets, replace the magazine. All right. Pull the action back to charge it. All right. Isn't it right on the side here somewhere? There it is. We 
Okay, we got that in. Not sure. Safe. Why can't I rotate this anymore? Let me see. Isn't this the charging handle? Let's go. Oh. I don't know how to work an AK. <laughs> there we go. I had to take the safety off. With the charge, full auto, semi-auto, safe, full auto, pull the trigger. Okay, semi, and then pull the trigger. Excellent, okay. Let's take her down to the range. I didn't realize you had to take off the safety for that to work. It's Russian, I didn't figure it had a safety. All right, here we go. Shooting range. Ah, let's go CQB. Like, why not close quarters? This could be fun. This is a very long video. I'm sorry. I get, I get really weirded out, and I start enjoying it. All right. Is the safety on? Safety is on. All right, perfect. Let's go try to get our Calmerator out here. We are going to do static targets. Okay, now we're going to put it in. Full rock and roll. Ready? I am ready. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we are. Come on. Oh, I have no idea how many bullets are left in this thing. Come on. Yeah. I always hit 23 or 24. I must be missing one <laughs> along the way. Let's do it again. I must be like, I always miss one. So there must be one like behind me or something I'm not checking for. Now, let's put her in semi-auto mode and go from there this time. Okay, now we're going to go this way. And through here. Look around, make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, that one. That one didn't pop up. Oh, this is the one I missed. There it is. Got it. Not bad. Not bad. Could be worse. Safety on, please. But let's reload it. Okay. The Calmerator can go home. Excellent. What a, what a great day. We worked on an AK. We got our own firearm. You, you can have worse days, you know. All right, let's go take... Okay. Game's got to think. Game has got to think. It's like... It okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. It's like you come home and you have a brain fart, you know? All right, I'm going to take that out. And this is all going to go uh, in y'all. Sweet. There was no budget. And now we learn how to do the other things. Should we send it back to him? I think we got to send it back to him, don't we? And send back. Sweet. And then we should get an email. Good job with the AK. I've been so as passionate to me. Good luck. Hopefully soon I'll have something more to show you. All right. Excellent. Well, we're going to leave this episode here because we're pretty much out of money. Um, but we are. Ooh. Professional gunsmithing program. Oh, look at me. I got two points. Chemistry. Ooh. Ooh. Much more effective sandblasting sounds good because that was not very effective. All right, so we're going to award those points back. And then for some reason we got that. 
anyway, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe get your friends to subscribe. Maybe get your dog to subscribe. Maybe get your horse, your chickens, your cows, your moomerators. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. Shoot, shoot, bang, bang. Out. Out.